What's good, YouTube? This is Austin Sweet, the Gaming and Wrestling 10, coming at you again with another Top 10 Thursdays for you guys today. Um, I thought I'd keep going with the Top 10 Thursdays. I was myself, why not? Let's do it. So today's Top 10 Thursdays is my Top 10 rap songs. Now, if you think um, that one of these songs shouldn't be on the list, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to read them. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into it. At number 10, we have Car Radio by 21 Pilots off of their album Vessel, which was released in 2011. Um, I thought this song was alright. Nothing too special. Not as good as Stressed Out and another song that's on this list. Um, could have been a little bit better, in my opinion, but hey, it's 21 Pilots, so don't expect it to be much. It's alright. Could have been better. Number nine is My House, feature uh, by Flo Rida off the EP with the same name. That was released in 2015. This song is really good. It really gets the party going. It really gets everyone in the good mood to party. So be sure you guys check out that song if you haven't already. It's really good. Number eight is Juicy by the Notorious B.I.G. off of his album Ready to Die. The song was released in 1994. Um, of course, this was Biggie's first single and his debut album did really good too. With Juicy being Biggie's first hit single, I thought it was really good. I was really impressed. Uh, first time I heard it, I was like, wow. And it really blew me away. So be sure you guys check out Juicy if you haven't already. That song's really good. Number seven is Gin and Juice by Snoop Dogg featuring Daz Dillinger. Off, and that was released off of the album Doggy Style. That song was released in 1994. Um, if, you, if you're at a party and you don't hear this song, oh my gosh, you're missing out on a lot. That song really gets the party going. Be sure you guys check out Gin and Juice if you haven't already. That's a classic. Number six is Brass Monkey by the Beastie Boys, featured off their album License to Ill. That song was released in 1987. Um, Brass Monkey is a, it's an ode to a cheap cocktail. Um, it's really, really funky. Very good, though. Be sure you guys check out Brass Monkey if you haven't already. It's really good. Number five is Polarize by 21 Pilots off their album Blurry Face that came out in 2015. Thought the song was really good. Very well done, actually. So yeah, be sure you guys check out Polarize if you haven't already. It's my brother's sorry. Number four is my favorite 21, one of my favorite 21 Pilot songs. Um, Doubt, off the same album, Blurry Face, released in 2015. That is a freaking great song. I love that song to death. Um, in my opinion, possibly the best 21 Pilot song is that one. So be sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. Number three is Long Way by Jordan Lucas from, the, from his album Along Came Joiner. That song was released in 2015. I want to give a quick shout out to 2Pro Gaming otherwise known as Joe. He showed me this song. So thanks Joe for showing me that song. Possibly the best Joyner Lucas song is that one right there, Long Way, oh my gosh. It's really good. Check it out if you haven't already, it's awesome. Number two on the list is Ruthless For Life by MC Ren off the album with the same name, Ruthless For Life. The song was released in 1998. Um, shout out again to 2Pro Gaming, otherwise known as Joe. He showed me that song too. Um, really good. That's actually the first single off of MC Ren's, um, CD, Ruthless for Life. He's basically paying tribute to Easy e off that, on that song, and that's what the album is about. Um, great song. That's possibly the best song ever by MC Ren. Be sure you guys check that out already. Be sure you guys check it out if you haven't. And number one on the list is possibly, it's my favorite song by Tupac, and that's Ambitions as a Rider from the album 
from his album All Eyes On Me. Everyone should know about that album. That was released, and that song was released in 1996. Um, when Tupac uh, was bailed out of jail by Suge Knight, he signed with Death Row Records. And that was the first song that he did. It was basically his statement, his mission statement when he was released out of jail. Um, Ambitions as a writer is a classic. Be sure you guys listen to that or check it out if you haven't already. That song, Ambitions as a writer, is a 10 out of 10. That is a classic. So that'll do it for today's Top 10 Thursdays. Um, if you guys missed out on the last Top 10 Thursdays, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. Um, be sure you guys go click that link. Go check out the first Top 10 Thursdays. And I have a little bit of a challenge for you guys. If this video reaches five likes, I will do another Top 10 Thursdays um, rap songs. I will do that. I will do that once the video gets five likes. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Tap the bell, turn on all notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. The link to the to my first Top 10 Thursdays will be in the description as well. And the links to my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram will be in the description as well. Click one of those links and I'll be sure to catch up with you there as well. And there's still time. Be sure you check out Top 10 Tuesday or Trivia Tuesdays if you haven't had the time to answer. But you guys have still have time to answer. So get your answers in before the following Tuesday because that's when I'm going to be revealing the answer. So thank you guys very much for watching this Top 10 Thursdays, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.